pleasant good afternoon to all. I am delighted to join in this celebration with our graduating students and their families. You are here today because you have remained focused and dedicated to your academic pursuits and personal achievement. This graduation ceremony is special for us all since it is a practical demonstration of our resilience within the education sector. For many of you, today represents a deeply personal occasion since you had to defy tremendous odds to be here. Many of you persevered even without a roof over your heads, with limited supplies, and with tragic memories of possibly one of the most eventful days in your life. Today, one year on, we celebrate. We celebrate collective, remarkable, determination by your parents, your family, your faculty, staff, and indeed the government of Dominica. But most importantly, we celebrate you, the graduates sitting before us today. You made it by the grace of God. We certainly celebrate with you, and you deserve our highest commendation. We celebrate knowing that therein lies within the young people of Dominica and the Dominica State College tremendous potential of greatness. Graduates, you have shown your mettle, and one can only imagine that you will continue to triumph over life's adversities as you chart a successful path for your lives. The Dominica State College has over the past several years contributed immensely to tertiary level learning and national development. We have made remarkable gains in student intake and access to tertiary education. And we are continuing to increase and improve offerings so as to empower graduates with marketable skills for development. It is evident to all that this government has recognized the importance of education to nation building. Education serves as an instrument of change, progress, and development. To a great extent, the task of nation building depends on the quality and the number of persons graduating from the Dominica State College and other similar institutions. Most recently, the Honorable Prime Minister, in recognition of this fact, made available to the Dominica State College $1.1 million to assist with student tuition. I am sure that this has facilitated the completion of the program for many of you who are graduating here today. The significant investments in tertiary education and the support of the Dominica State College is indeed the hallmark of this government. We will not swerve from the focus 
on creating opportunities and access to tertiary education for Dominican students. It is a policy direction to which we are committed because it contributes directly to the development of our human resource base. The government of Dominica has undoubtedly delivered on the promise to improve and enhance tertiary education provision. We commit to continued support of the State College in its pursuit of excellence. The Dominica State College prides itself on providing a degree of diversity to students in pursuit of their tertiary education. One significant difference between this entity and others is that students are better grounded in real life experiences. The educational experience at Dominica State College provides a holistic approach to learning. During your period of studies, all students receive the opportunity to develop themselves on many levels. Students have the opportunity to mature and think more critically about their future and their own personal development. As part of your respective programs at the Dominica State College, you were exposed to several community engagements, field experiences, job attachments, vocational education, and exposure to real life situations. Hence, you are more marketable and better suited for the job market as well as further studies. I wish at this point to commend your lecturers and school administration who have facilitated your receiving this well-rounded experience. May your experiences here serve you well as you embark on the next phase of your academic and professional lives. While we celebrate, we must reflect on new approaches to improve in three critical areas, namely enhancing efficiency, further development of human resource capacity, and I dare say that includes faculty qualifications, and to move towards additional quality assurance measures. As a government, we have sought to rehabilitate your physical facilities damaged during the passage of Maria. And to date, we have re-roofed the buildings uncovered during the hurricane. At this juncture, I wish to pause to recognize the importance of our partnership with the Republic of Cuba and China, who aided us in our rehabilitation works at DSC. My friends, it is on such occasions we must emphasize that no man is an island. And working together in partnership with others, collaborating with others, helps build solid relationships. And our success is largely dependent on the relationships that we build with others. The government of Dominica will continue to work with the Dominica State College to maintain a high quality of service. As I conclude, I wish to remind you that you must take control of your own destiny or someone else may control it for you. 
Many of your life's choices are made by you. Although these choices may greatly affect others, as well as national development. I admonish you, let God continue to direct your path. Always make wise choices so that you may have few regrets at the end of it all. Indeed, your presence here today is already an indication that you have made serious investments in your future. I wish to thank the Board of Directors, Dr. Peters, the College President, various faculty chairs, and faculty staff, as well as those in administration, clerical and janitorial staff for their dedication and commitment over the past years. Mr. President, I salute you for your astute leadership. Indeed, we can be proud of Dominica State College. We recognize all of you, the students gathered here, for a job well done. I join your close friends, family, and well-wishers in congratulating you for your perseverance, discipline, commitment, and diligence. May the good Lord richly bless and preserve everyone gathered here today. Congratulations once again as we celebrate our 40th anniversary of independence you are graduating at an opportune moment and go out and demonstrate that indeed you shall impact positively on the future of our beloved country. I thank you.